Send two units. They're bringing her down now. No, Lieutenant, your men are already dead. Hello and welcome to another video, I really appreciate you taking the time. So, Bone Lab, you may have heard of it, it's only one of, if not the most anticipated VR title this year and in a long while. You might have even seen a few creators cover it already. <laughs> yeah, those. Okay, so first things first, do you need to play Boneworks before playing this one? It's a question I've gotten a few times off of my shorts and TikToks and personally I would say no especially because it's confined to PC VR only and some of you may not have access to a VR capable PC. If you're interested in the lore, what I would do is use one of the catch-up videos that came out right before this released, and the one that I would recommend the most is Virtual Panda's video. He did an awesome job being clear and concise with his video, and I'm going to leave a link to that one in my description for anyone that might be interested and hasn't seen it yet. The second thing I'd like to cover that puzzled even vets of Boneworks Spoiler warning, I'm going to mention how to progress the story after the first level because this game does not hold your hand and tell you where to go, and this has stumped a few people, so I'm going to cover it. After you finish the first level, you are left to wander around the Bone Lab, a central hub of sorts where you can check out your avatar, look at its stats, load a modded one which we'll briefly get into a bit later, or even find a few secret items for the sandbox mode. But it's also where you get into the game's six modes, which is a must to unlock the door to finish out the campaign. You don't have to play all the modes, but you at least have to go into all of them to get that quarantine door unlocked. With that out of the way, let's get into what I like and what I don't. Straight away, I absolutely love the music. In my opinion, it's fantastic and does a really good job making you feel like a badass while you shoot or even give a nobody the one-two. Something I don't like is the controls on the go-kart, but maybe I'll change my mind after playing with it a little bit more. But you have to push up on the right analog stick for gas and grip the wheel, I don't know, it's weird. I do feel like the mechanics are smoother overall, and I genuinely think this one is more fun. Two levels in the campaign I was not a fan of are Moon and Pillar Climb. This game is not perfect, and some will have a hell of a time climbing in this. But let me give you a pro tip. When you grab a ledge, pull yourself up, bring your hands in real life to about your knee level in real life, and then let go, and you should be good. You can even push forward on the left analog, but be careful with that because your legs can push you away from the wall. The best thing about this for me is the freedom I have to solve certain things. Like for example here, at the start of the game you need to push that lever up. In order to do that, you need to stack things. Well, I thought I was tall enough, but I was not. And look at how I solved the problem. And it's stuff like that that makes me love Bone Lab. It's not perfect as I said, but it's damn fun, and despite the 14 level single player, and no multiplayer mod yet, there's still a ton of fun to be had here, and a decent amount of modes and content that makes me not regret my $40 purchase. And then there's mods. If you haven't heard, the modding community has been going crazy with Bone Lab. The game's only been out a week at the time this video goes live, but over on mod.io, there are 819 mods in Rising that are available with a mixture of avatars and levels for now. There's even a save file that if you're just wanting to unlock everything and play around in the arena and sandbox modes with all your new toys, you can. Most of the mods are compatible with Quest version also, although not all of them are, so just be careful if that's the platform you're downloading for. Well, that does it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, keep playing, keep surviving, and take care.